as very tired. Okay. I'm going to teacher. Okay. Hello, guys. Perfect. <laughs> Hello. Hello, can you hello. hear me? Yes. Okay, yes. hello. Uh, I'm sorry for this long delay, seven minutes late, but we were having some problems because it is our first day today. And, um, but I would like to know if you all can hear me. Yes. Yes. Completely. Okay, yes. great. Uh, well, I would like to ask you if you could please turn your cameras on, the other ones, because now I just can see Katya, Basilia, Reynaldo, Stephanie, Sandra, Joaquin, Jenny, and... Sandra is... Okay. So, uh, welcome to this class. Today we're going to start. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez, and I'm going to be here with you during this course, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, just in case, if you have any problem uh, of hearing something, if you don't listen to me, please let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, um, I don't know you all, but we are going to be during this hour and well I'm going to be with you during this course and we are going to I'm going to be your teacher and I'm also going to be your friend okay so if you have any question or if you have something that you don't understand during the class please let me know do you okay. know how to say no entiendo yes Course. How do we I say don't that? understand. Okay. Great, great. Okay, so if you don't understand something, please let me know. Teacher, I don't understand, or Nelson, whatever. You can call me Nelson or Adonai, whatever you want, okay? So uh, for today, we have uh, our first meeting and our first topic. And we're going to start with the class today. It's going to be an hour. And to start with the class, we have a presentation. I don't know if you all can see it. Yes. Okay, thank you. So we're going to start with that. The topic that we have for today, it is adverbs before adjectives. Okay, so we're going to start with that. And to start with that, I would like to tell you a little bit about what is an adverb. We have the following uh, meaning. An adverb is a word that is used to change, modify, or qualify several type of words including adjectives, verbs, and even another adverb, okay? So we are going to try to understand today how this works. We have some examples here. The first one, it says, Tom is very tall. As you can see there, the word very, you can see it there, that word, it is an adverb that is modifying this adjective, the adjective tall. We have the second one that is number two, the water was extremely cold. As you can see there, the word extremely, it is the, the adverb in this case, okay? 
So remember and keep that in mind. An adverb is something that we use to modify or qualify some words. It means that an adverb will give you more information about what we are talking about. Is it clear for the moment? Yes? Yes, yes it is, teacher. Okay. Yes. So remember, if you have, during the explanation, you have any question, please let me know, and I'm here to help you, okay? So, um, something that I need you to know, something very important, it is that most of the time, or most of the verb, as you can see here, those letters, adverbs often end in L. Why? When we were at school, when we were in seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, or even at high school, we were taught that adverbs are the only ones who have the L-I letter. So we have an example here. As you can see here, we have the word easy, that it is an adjective, but how do we create or how do we change this adjective to an adverb? Easy. The main rule is that you only have to add the letter L and Y, and as you can see there, the letter Y changes to a letter I and then L-Y. So we say the adjective easy, and then we have the adverb easily. Yes, do you understand this rule? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, let's continue. So how are you going to know that is a number. How? We have here something that is very important for you to know. For example, we have all these questions we have there. These questions will help you to identify a number in a sentence. So what that means? That when you have a number in a sentence, but as an example, let's say that you have a, a sentence, but you don't know which one is the adverb and you want to know what is the adverb in that sentence. So in order for you to know which one is the adverb, you can use some of these questions we have here. For example, we can use the question how, how, we can use the question when, when, or we can use the question where, where, or the question why. We also can use another questions, for example, how much, how much, how often. We have two ways to pronunciate this question. Tenemos dos formas to pronunciate this question, okay? We can say how often, or we can say how often, yes? So keep in mind that pronunciation. The next question we have, it is under what condition? If you could take some notes in a notebook or something like that, that will help you with the exercises we have later, okay? Because later we will have some exercises and I will need you to know all these questions. So if you can take some notes or something like that in a notebook, that will help you. We have the next question that is under what condition? Under what condition? And the last one that we can use to know if it is an adverb, it is to what degree? Does all does any of you know or do you all know the meaning of all those questions? Uh, 
Hello. To what degree, maybe? Maybe not. To what degree? That means a que grado mm. in Spanish. A que grado. Okay. Thank you. But in this case, degree, it is not a specifically, no está específicamente hablando de grado eh, de un estudio, sino que está hablando de un grado de una situación. ¿Sí? Situation. Correct. Okay. Uh, another one that you, you, do you all know the meaning of all these questions? Yes, because if you all know it, we can pass to the next slide. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So here we have some examples. Let me show you. Here we have uh, this one. The first one, it is the same question, the same, I'm sorry, the same sentence we saw at the beginning, the same sentence we have it here. Once again, we have the same one and it says, Tom is very tall. So how are you going to identify the, the adverb? Using this, these same questions we have over here. So we can ask the question, how is Tom? Using the question, how? You can see it here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? So yeah. this question, how, how is Tom, will give me the answer so if we answer this question, how is Tom? Very tall, you see? Very tall. So that means that the adverb that answered the question, how is Tom, it's very tall. So the adverb, the adverb is gonna be very. Mm, Let's see. Yeah, very, very. Mm -hmm. Let's see here the second example. We have the water was extremely cold. The water was extremely cold. So which question are we going to use? Again, we are going to use the question how to identify the adverb. And we say, how was the water? How, how was the water? And the answer is extremely extremely cold, correct. Oh. So as you can see here, when we formulate the question, automatically the answer of that question will give us the adverb we are talking about. So as you can see here, all these questions will help you to understand or to find within the sentence which one is the adverb. Any questions? Any doubt that you have on so far? Everything is clear? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Great. So let's let's see. If you remember here, the very beginning, we saw this. This is the meaning of an adverb. And as you can see here on this meaning, it says that an adverb can modify an adjective, can modify a verb, and can modify another adverb. So here today, we are going to understand or we are going to learn how can we identify all those cases. So here we have the first one. Here we are going to know when an adverb is modifying a verb. And it's really simple. When an adverb is modifying a verb, it means that the adverb is describing the action that is happening. Yes? So in this case, let's see the examples. 
Example number one, it says, Philip sings loudly in the shower. Now, now that you know the questions we have to use to find an adverb, which question will you will you use to find the adverb? We're going there. Thank you so much, Katya. Um, well, to find, Katya said, how Philip sings. We can use that, but to make that question grammatically correct, we, we need to use does. So the question will be, how does Philip sings? How does Philip sings? What will be the answer? Loudly. Loudly. So there we identify the adverb. And in this case, this adverb is modifying the verb sings. Why? Because as the explanation says here, it's describing the action of the verb or the action that is happening. Yes? Clear? Clear. Okay, perfect. Let's see the second example. It says, my cat waits impatiently for his food. So which one will be the question we will have to use in this one? Who Can someone help me? Your cat. Who is your cat? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Who is your cat? Who is your cat? Using who? W-H-O. Yes. Okay, pay attention to that. If we use who, that means quien. Who is your cat? Mm -hmm. Quien es tu gato? That, that will be the meaning of that question. Nos daría? Will that question gives us, gives us an answer? Will that be possible why if we use who? Why, why is your cat? cat Let's see. What? Okay. Who said how? Me. <laughs> Say your name, please, because it, I cannot. Stephanie, it could be how your cat wait for his food. Let's see. Someone of you, Joaquin, I remember Joaquin said what, right? Uh, how, no, what's the cat, what does the cat wait? Okay, let's oh, see. Cat wait. Let's see, let's see, let's try to find out. Oh, if we use, God. if we, oh, my God, wait. Okay, let me see. If we use the question Joaquin said, he said, what does the cat wait? That if we translate that question to Spanish, that will be, que espera el gato. He's waiting for his food. Entonces la respuesta sería, que le espera? Su comida. Food. So we cannot use what? It's how. May I take her? How does? Yes. Go ahead. How, how, how does my cat wait? Correct. That is the question. How does my cat wait? Why? Because we are trying to know how, como está esperando él. How? So we say, yeah. how does my cat wait? And what is the answer? Impatiently. That's correct. So the answer is impatiently. And impatiently. can someone tell me what is modifying this adverb? Which verb? Wait. 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 Correct. So the adverb is modifying the verb wait. Yeah. So let's see the last one. I will seriously consider your suggestion. 
I will seriously consider your suggestion. Can any of you help me with uh, trying to find out a question? Let me see. I'm going to ask someone. Who said How much? that? How much? Who are you? I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Karen. I think is how much how much okay let's see sure. let's try to go ahead go ahead I have a question go ahead mm -hmm. what will you, what will you do? Yeah. teacher i have a question go ahead joaquin uh, what is the meaning to the su suggestions suggestion <laughs> es como mm -hmm. con si Yes, suggestion is una eh, sugerencia. Sugerencia. That will be the meaning. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, do you have another question, Joaquin? No. Okay. For the moment. Okay, let me see. Let's see what Jerry, Jerry, are you there? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So I would like to ask you, can you please help me to try to uh, make the question that will give us the answer for the adverb? Can you try to do that? Can you help me with that? Just try to do it. If it is not okay, we are all Hi. learning here. Don't feel afraid. Okay. No, I, I can't. You can't? Uh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> so are you understanding? Or are you uh, kind of confused? Un poco con confuso, sí. Okay, so if you want me to, uh, to explain you something, I will be so happy to explain you. But okay, so can someone else help me to, to find out the question? How I will consider your suggestion? How Who I say will? that? Oh, Katya, right? Yeah, Katya. Okay, yes. We have, how will I consider your suggestion? That will be the question. How will I consider your suggestion? And the answer will be seriously. Yes? Now, this is the part of an adverb modifying a verb. Is it clear for the moment how to find out when an adverb is modifying a verb? Yes. Yes, all of you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do not yes, feel teacher. afraid to participate, okay? Teacher. Yes, for go me, ahead. I I confuse, but I try to um, read more this. Okay, what, this what is confusing you? And What's the confusion? I, when I do the, the question, mm -hmm. I, I confuse this, but only use how, how, and... No, 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 no. Remember this? That's why I told you. If you have a notebook, if you have something that you can take notes, please write some questions down, write some information, because it will help you to know how. So, estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Nos van a ayudar a identificar cómo encontrar un adverbio. Okay? So... All these questions we have here will okay. help us. Vamos a ver otra. Yes. Sorry. What will example for when? We will see some examples later on. Now I'm okay. just giving you the, the first information just to get uh, to know the information. Yes? Pues ahorita solo estamos viendo información en general para que vamos, vayamos entrando, ¿verdad?, en el ambiente. ¿Yes? 
Later on, we will see some examples with each one of the questions, so you can understand better. So, no more questions for adverbs modifying verbs? No. Everything is clear, teacher. Okay, so we can continue. So, um, he, here we have an information that you need to know, something that you need to remember. There are some verbs that you cannot use an adverb. And here we have some verbs. And we call these verbs linking verbs. O que son los verbos de los sentidos, por decirlo así. Such as feel. Do you know what feel means? Sentir. Sentir. Yes. Smell. Oler. Sound. Sonido. Seem. No? Anyone? Sin parecer. Ver. Observar. Hear. Pare it, it's the verb parecer. And appear, mm -hmm. that is aparecer. So we... Teacher. Yes, go ahead. But the sound is sonar, right? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Sonar. So with these verbs, we can never use adverbs. Mm -hmm. keep, keep that in mind. With these verbs, we can never use adverbs. We can only use adjectives. And here we have an example. As you can see the, here, we have the example. I feel, I feel, I'm sorry, I feel badly about what happened. I feel badly about what happened. So this is not correct. Why? Can someone tell me why Stephanie Roxana, can you help me please? Because it's an, an adverb from, it's an adverb of the exactly. sentiment. We have no here. Se me, dos al mismo tiempo. We have Entonces, here an adverb. Mm -hmm. Here we have an adverb. Y como dice la regla, I have the rule says, with these verbs, the verb feel, the verb sound, the verb appear, the verb smell, in all of those verbs you can see there, we never have to use an adverb. We will only have to use what? Adjectives. Adjectives, adjetivos, okay? So, in the first... Did anyone say something? Alguien preguntó algo, no? No? Okay, so in this sentence here, we have, I feel badly about what, what happened. As you can see here, we have the verb feel. Como tenemos el verbo feel ahí, ya sabemos que esto que está acá, we cannot use it. Why? Because this is an adverb. This is an adverb. Y como les dije, en la escuela o en diferentes lugares nos enseñaron that an adverb solo se le agrega la L y la Y para formar un adverbio. And the rule says, la regla que vemos acá dice, con estos verbos, we cannot use an adverb. So this is incorrect. Which one it will be the correct one? As you can see here, I feel bad about what happened. Here, the word bad, la palabra bad, ya no tiene la L y. So in ese momento pasa a ser 
an adjective. Yes, and we say, I feel bad about what happened. Yes, that is a rule that you never have to forget. So now, we saw already when adverbs modify verbs. Now we will see when adverbs modify adjectives. And this is where we are going to focus on. Eso es en lo que nos vamos a concentrar later on. Yes? Because this is a topic that we need to understand. So we will start. It says that adverbs can also modify adjectives and often the purpose of the adverb is to add a degree of intensity to the adjective. What does that mean? It means that cuando agregamos un adjetivo, esto va a ser que el, eh, que el adverbio que está modificando el adjetivo tenga un grado de intensidad más fuerte. Como que yo le dé una intensidad fuerte para, para que el adjetivo tenga eh, una explicación como más fuerte. Let's see the examples. We have here the first one. The woman is quite pretty. The woman is quite pretty. The adverb quite is giving you more an intensity of the adjective pretty. Es lo que pasa en este caso. Está diciendo que la mujer es, do you know what quite means? Bastante. Mucho. Muy. Muy o muy bonita. Esa palabra muy, quite in English, is giving you an intensity. Está dando más intensidad. Te decía, no es igual que yo diga, the woman is pretty, que yo diga, la mujer es bonita, a que yo diga, es muy bonita, right? Because I am giving a degree of intensity to something. Do you understand? Yes. Teacher, sure. then it's to emphasize, to emphasize. Yeah. Correct, we, we can say that that is to emphasize or give you more information Teacher. about. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead, Joaquin. Okay. Um, can I say the woman is very pretty? pretty? Correct, yes. Very pretty. Very yeah, pretty. correct. You can say the woman is very pretty and is correct. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So, so in this case, to identify the adverb, which question of the ones we saw before, which question will you use to identify the adverb? How pretty is the woman? How pretty is the woman? Okay. Who said that, Stephanie? Yes. Okay. So, so if we she, go ahead. I think is how is she? How is she? If we use, okay, let's try to find out. Si usamos, if we use the question, how is she? Como es ella? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta then? What will be the answer? She is pretty, but it won't give you, no les dará la respuesta del, del, del adverbio. Entonces, Roxana, Roxana said, no, Stephanie Roxana said, how pretty is the woman? If we use that question, si utilizamos esa pregunta sería, ¿cuán? Bonita es la mujer. Pero en este caso, como sabemos que how significa cómo, no podemos utilizar how pretty the woman is. 
¿Qué es lo que utilizamos? ¿Qué pregunta utilizamos nosotros para What? saber cuánto? How much? Correct. Correct. That will be the question. So, the question will be, how much pretty the woman is? Or, or how much pretty is the woman? So, that question will give you the answer. There will be quite. And may I teacher, uh, can we use in what degree is she pretty? No? If we use that, in what degree, a que grado, or a, or a que, yeah, in that case it will be, en que grado, en que manera, es ella bonita. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will be, if we use to what degree, is the, is the woman pretty? Uh -huh. And si okay. utilizamos esa pregunta, ¿en qué grado nos estamos refiriendo a una, cuando decimos en qué grado, significa, podríamos decir también, a, que podemos medir una correct? cosa. Yeah, correct. So, in mm -hmm. this case, both of them will be correct. Very good. Uh, uh -huh. Very good, Sandra. So we can use Thank both you. of them. Yes. So let's okay. go to the second to the second example. It says the book is more interesting than the last one. The book is more interesting than the last one. Can someone help me with that question? Let's see. Let's try to see if someone can help us. Is there, Ismael Eliseo, are you there? I don't know, teacher. Okay, let's see another one. Uh, go ahead. How interesting is this book? How? Remember what how means. How means como, right? Mm -hmm. Si yo quiero decir cuánto o qué tan interesante, refiriéndome a una cantidad, ok. Stephanie Ramirez, go ahead. I see your hand, that you raise your hand. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. I think the question is, how much is interesting this book? Oh. It could be that one. So it could be how much interesting is this book than the last one? How much interesting? Porque estamos queriendo saber qué tan interesante. Yes, how much? Como que nos dé una cantidad. How much? Cuán interesante o cuánto interesante es este libro que el último. Y la respuesta que nos va a dar es más, porque nos está dando una cantidad, por eso utilizamos how much. Oh. Yes. Teacher, podría, uh, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, what, what's interesting mm -hmm. uh, that book se podría, qué tan interesante. Ok. So, hay que saber, eh, reco hay que recordarnos de cuáles son las únicas, the only questions, las únicas preguntas que podemos utilizar. If you can notice here, Claudia, if you can notice here, we do not have the question what. No tenemos ese what ahí. Por lo tanto, no podríamos utilizarlo. No se podría. No. Okay. Re remember... The only questions that you will use in order to find an adverb will be these questions. Solamente esas. There is no other ones. Okay. Okay. So, Candida Janet, I see that you have raised your hand. I say, teacher. Um, si necesito saber este, por qué es tan interesante ese libro, 
Sí, yeah. sí, sí, pero. Okay, let's see. If you ask the question, why is this book interesting than the last one? ¿Por qué este libro es interesante que el último? ¿Por qué? Si yo busco la respuesta de esa palabra, de esa pregunta, desde el momento en que tenemos why, la respuesta va a ser because. Entonces, ese because nos tiene que dar mucha más información. Y lo único que andamos buscando acá es que nos dé directamente the adverb. So, the question why, en este caso, no nos daría una respuesta. Pero si hablamos gramaticalmente para otra ocasión, lo que tú dijiste sí se puede utilizar. Pero para este caso y en esta específica oración, is not possible. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So is it clear or you have any question about adverbs modifying adjectives? Me, teacher. Yes, Sandra, go ahead. Well, um, we have five cents, you know, and uh, there are so many more verbs. Mm -hmm. For example, see, what, look, hear, taste, touch, and uh, what about those verbs? Can they be um, modified by, by an adverb to, or, or not? No, we have more verbs. The one that I gave you, the one that I gave you, it's just a little part of that. Oh. As this is just general information for the moment, general oh. information. So oh. later on, next class, let's say tomorrow, we will focus in something specifically. This information okay. right now yeah. is just for you to know the general information about arbits and adjectives. Oh, very good. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. So, any Teacher. question you have? Go, go ahead. Who said? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, yes. Are you going to share the, this presentation in, with us? If you want to, I can send you this presentation through the WhatsApp group so you can have it with you if you want to. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, and remember, the, this is going to be also uh, posted on YouTube, this class. So next, oh, for example, if you have any doubt later on, you can go to YouTube and you can easily check the class one more time. Yes? Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now... Will you pass the list? Oh, uh, we will do it in some... Some moments, okay? Okay. So we will see the last part of these adverbs that it will be adverbs modifying another adverbs. Adverbs modifying another adverbs. So how will that be? Example, it says that you can use adverbs to describe another adverb. And we have here some examples. The first one is, we are normally here. We are normally here. If I ask the question, volviendo a las preguntas, vea, which question do you think that it will be the best one? You know, the adverb. Porque ahí tenemos dos adverbios. Entonces, queremos saber which adverb is modifying the other adverb. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Si yo respondo, if I answer that question, where are we? ¿Dónde estamos? Here. Estamos aquí. Ese sería... Ese sería... El adverbio principal. El adverbio principal. Pero ¿cómo encontramos uh, entonces? Normally. normally. Because siempre el adverbio que está, que está modificando al otro adverbio va a estar 
antes del otro adverbio. ¿Sí? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Por ejemplo, aquí we have here. Here is, podríamos decir lo que es el, ver, el adverbio principal. Queremos encontrar el adverbio normally, porque este adverbio, como está antes, esto nos está indicando que este adverbio está modificando el siguiente adverbio. Do you understand the idea? Okay. Yes. All right. So, the question will be, how often? Si se recuerdan, aquí teníamos, right? How often? What does how often mean in Spanish? Can someone tell me? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con, cre con qué frecuencia? Thank you so much. O qué tan a menudo, ¿verdad? Que es lo mismo. ¿Con qué frecuencia? So we made a question. How often are we here? How often are we here? ¿Qué tan, ¿Con qué tanta frecuencia estamos nosotros aquí? La respuesta que nos daría es normalmente, normally, normally. And that question will give us the answer. Si ustedes pueden ver ahí, entonces, esa pregunta automáticamente nos da la respuesta para saber qué adverbio está modificando a qué adverbio. I will repeat it one more time. The second adverb, el segundo adverbio, es siempre el principal. Y el que va antes es el que está modificando al principal. Keep that in mind, please. Keep that in mind, yes? So do not forget it. So let's see the last one. He touched the dog very slowly. He touched the dog very slowly. So how are we going to know which adverb? Does any of you have any idea? No. Under what, under what condition? Okay, let's see. Was the dog touched? Under what condition was the dog touched? What does, what does that mean in Spanish? It will be something like, bajo qué condiciones el perro fue tocado? Yeah. Muy lento. Who is he touched the dog? Okay, si utilizamos who, is who not. sería quién. Entonces, en la, re, en, la, en la oración no sabemos quién lo tocó. Is how, 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 was, how was the dog touched? Correct. So we can use how was the dog touched? ¿Cómo fue tocado el perro? Very slowly. Y ahí nos da la respuesta. O podemos utilizar lo mismo que Sandra Araceli nos preguntó hace un rato. Que dijo, to what degree? To what degree did he touch the dog? ¿Hasta qué grado o de qué manera lo tocó? Very slowly. Si se fijan la pregunta, how, you notice the question, how, the question, to what degree, they are pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so we just have four minutes left, guys. Four minutes left, so you let me know if you want me to share this presentation through the WhatsApp group, so I can do it tomorrow morning, so you can have this presentation with you. So you yes, let me please. know. Okay, okay, I will do it tomorrow morning. So before we finish this class for today, I want to let you know and please um, try to work on the platform. Please try to work on the platform because as you know, this will be the age you have to pass this platform, this code you have to have 
it is 80%. So please, since today, you can start working on the platform because this platform or this score, the 80%, will give you the opportunity to continue with us for the next module. Yes, please. So since yeah. today, you can start working on the platform, trying to make the exercises we have there. We also have some videos that will help you to understand a little bit more about this. So remember, if you have any question or something that you would like to know or something that you would like me to explain to you, please do it through the WhatsApp group. That's we are there to help you. Yes. I will be always okay. there to help you if you have any question or something that you would like to know or something that you want me to tell you or explain you. I will always be there to help you. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, so in last part that we are going to see today, it will be a brief recap, una recapitulación, verdad? Of some of the rules. Review of the rules. Yes. And the first rule says, most mode adverbs are formed from an adjective by adding a white particle. Como vimos al inicio, vea, what does that mean? That la mayoría de los adverbios son formados por un adjetivo al que solamente le agregamos L y el final. L. L. L-Y, yes? We have some examples over there. We have the adjective quick, that when we add the L-Y, it becomes an adverb, and it will be quickly. We have the next one that is easy, that we change the letter Y, and we add L-Y, and it will be easily, easily. So for an adjective, we can change it to an adverb, the easy way, just adding L-Y at the end. We have careful that if we have, if we add a letter L and the letter Y will be carefully. Y automaticamente that will be a number. Yes, simple as that. La mayoría de los adverbios se van a formar así. So this is the main rule. The second one. It says that some adverbs do not follow this rule and do not vary at all their form. What does that mean? Algunos adverbios, ¿verdad? No cambian, no siguen la regla de arriba, ¿verdad? Que le agregamos el I. No, they do not follow that rule. That means that they vary their form. Ellos tienen y varían, nunca varían en su forma. Si se fijan, if you can notice there, we have the adjective hard and the adverb, it will be hard. We have the adjective late and the adverb will be late. We have also the adjective early and the adjective will be still, uh, I'm sorry, the adverb will still be early. And the last part or the last rule, it will be other adverbs completely change their form. Algunos otros adverbios cambian completamente su forma, right? So we have the adjective good. Cuando lo convertimos en adverb, it will be well. Good, adjective, well, adverb. Okay? So guys, it is nine o'clock already. So it was a pleasure for me to be with you this first class. So we will see tomorrow. And I hope you have a great night, guys. So remember, if you have any question, you can text through the WhatsApp group, okay? So see you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, have a great day. Good night. Goodbye, good night. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.